Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about a feature that we no longer have on our Galaxy S10 line of devices. That's the S10e, S10 Plus and S10 and unfortunately that's the notification LED light. Samsung took that out with a brand new redesign and we now actually have to use different options to be able to get notified whenever new messages come in. So today I'm going to walk you through the three different methods to be able to get notified when brand new messages come in on your device without necessarily needing that notification LED. This is TK, let's check it out. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to get all the latest video notifications whenever we put them out about all the latest Galaxy as well as other flagships on the market. Bookmark is a free website builder service that offers you the opportunity to have a website built from zero to 100% in about two minutes by just answering seven simple questions. They utilize AI and they call it IDA. And this service actually is pretty cool. By just answering those seven questions, it gets you from zero to a full website ready for you to customize to your liking. You can even open up an online store. So first and foremost, the notification LEDs always used to be present at the top and we no longer have that. As you can see, the display kind of goes all the way to the top. We have room for the earpiece and of course the punch hole camera. And of course we have, well, the device got locked there. And we have an information, of course, to be able to get into the device, uh, use face unlock, we can use the fingerprint sensor. But as far as notifications, we no longer have that feature. And so what can we do now to be able to get notified? Well, there's three different options and I'm gonna go through for you guys the first two obvious ones. And of course, the third one that you probably didn't think even existed on our Galaxy s10 devices so first thing we're going to talk about is edge panel well necessarily the edge lighting in the edge panel so going into the settings we'll go into display and then we're going to go into the section where it says edge screen and there's two options in there the first one it says edge panel which is typical this is something that we've normally seen on a, a galaxy devices and it's still there you can customize it the edge lighting was introduced about uh, maybe one or two generations ago. And the reality of the matter is I think they were kind of getting us ready to be able to lose that notification LED. And the reason I say that is this actually lights up your device whenever you get a new notification, even if your device is facing down. And the reason behind that is because it actually does it on the edges. So let's go ahead and go ahead and show edge lighting. The screen is on or the screen is off or always. And of course you want to show that always because you always will get that notification even if you're in an application. Uh, the edge lighting style is customizable as well. We have the effect, as you can see, it goes right there. You can customize between, you know, uh, bubble, wave, basic. Uh, you can even set up glow, uh, multicolor, of course, and you can go in there and customize your colors, the transparency level, even the thickness of the actual bar whenever it's actually going, as well as the duration of how long it goes. So we have it as short or long. And then, of course, whenever you get a new notification, that customization will pop up. And you can also customize what applications are able to push notifications to this. So it doesn't actually have to work with everything. So for me, I have it connected to Hangouts, Messages, WhatsApp, of course. And of course, I have Discord and all the other applications. But if you want to just turn it on for everything, just turn it on and any kind of notification, your Edge panel will light up. Now, the really cool thing about this. Now, as you saw, the light actually does light up pretty good. And depending on how dark the room is, the actual light will permeate all around it as if you have an LED strip of light going around. So that's the option, well, that's the first option that we have to be able to use a customized notification, and that's using the edge panel. And as I said, you can customize the color, what app uses it, um, if it's on all the time, and of course the effect, as well as the basically how often does it actually get turned on. Um, this works great, and it works even when you're using the device. So let's say I'm in the middle of a conversation with somebody, it will start lighting up my entire edge panel, and I'll be able to get my notifications. Now, a lot of people have wondered is why don't we just use the uh, basically little LED lights to around the actual camera because we've seen it actually show some kind of indicators. Most of them are generally basically to let us know that the camera is sitting there, but not necessarily as a notification. So if you pop into the camera, you'll notice there was that little lighting over there. So if you switch back, switch back forward, you can see that little lighting. And a lot of people have asked me, why can't we just customize that to be able to use that as a notification LED? Well, unfortunately, Samsung decided that that's not a feature currently, but they could implement this in another software update. Now, the next two features that we have are under the accessibility tab. So we'll go ahead into the settings section. We'll go down into accessibility. We'll go under advanced. And then there's a flash notification. This option enables us to turn on the either flash on the back of the phone, which is essentially here the camera flash. I'll go ahead and turn that on. And that means anytime I get a new notification, I'll go ahead and turn off my screen. Anytime a new notification gets pushed into my device, the flash on the back of my phone will start notifying me of a new message. Now, of course, and you can also see that the notification, uh, again, the edge lighting turns on at the same time. This is definitely one of the best features that you can have because not only does it work when the device is on, but it also works when the device is down. And even in a distance, you'll be able to see this because it'll flash up. So notifications, notification light now is kind of like your flash on the back of your phone. 
And the last option here is one of the ones that most people probably don't know about is the ability of actually screen flashing. Now, this one works mostly when you're using your device and you don't want to use edge lighting. So if you're not using edge lighting and you want to be notified of a new message um, and it obviously doesn't normally pop up, you can also use it whenever you're in the UI. So an example would be like this. I'm in the Google Play Store and I'm going to send myself another text message. And what's going to happen is let's say I'm using the device, I'm in the UI, I'm touching things and I'll give it a second. You'll notice right there the screen bl basically blinks orange and that's another notification. It's a hidden one. Um, I don't find it as useful as the other two options that we have. So at this point, for the most part, since we lost the end of the, we pretty much have two options. The edge lighting, which kind of goes around and you can customize it to whatever you'd like. And it works with the screen on or off. Uh, works great. You can interact with the actual notification, actually even pop it up. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. And if I touch it, I'm able to interact with it, you open up the message and all of the stuff will come up and everything works out great. So the conclusion essentially is that yes, we don't have an LED for notifications, but we do have other options to notify us when new messages come in. And I find that the edge lighting and a combination of the flashlight blinking of the back of the display or the back of the phone works the best as far as the combination. Uh, the screen light up is functional, but when you have edge lighting, it kind of becomes like a double option. I find that edge lighting is much nicer as you're able to interact with the actual notification where the flashing of the screen doesn't necessarily give you much other than just blinks the screen for you in case you missed the notification in the first place. Let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts about losing the notification LED on the brand new S9 devices? Does it matter to you? Was that even a feature that you even used in the past devices? Or this is just something that probably we need to get used to as we normally do with brand new designs and innovation, especially when it comes from big devices like the S line of devices from Samsung. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and keep it here and share it with all your friends as I'm going to have a lot more videos coming out with the brand new S10e and S10 definitely on the channel, comparing them to the S10 Plus. This is TK. I'll see you guys in the next video.